What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're checking out a little survival building game called Pamela with like horror elements and so it's kind of like a futuristic zombie death game in the future or something like that. I've played around with it a little bit so I figured we'll jump straight on in and play the game. It's new game time, Pamela time. Ooh, Pamela. Or is it like P.A.M.E. I don't know. The name of the game is confusing. All right. We are press any key to skip. No, I don't like skipping. I like walking. Ah, it's one of those games where we start out as a goldfish. Gotcha. That's okay. You know, goldfish are respectable. They're nice little animals. Four seconds until release. What if I can only, like, hold my breath for, like, 15 seconds, though? That's the question I have for you. All right. No signal. I can hear you. You're there, aren't you? Oh, hey, what's up, lady? I was so afraid this fragment would decay before you awoke. I don't know nothing about that, but what's up? How you doing? You apparently live in my hand. Welcome, hand demon. I implore you, seek out my prime cognizance. Okay. I don't know what a prime cognizance is. You probably wanted to find that a little better. Completely dark. She's all alone. Are you talking about yourself in the third person, or like? Supplies. I'm locked out on the surveillance network, but you can use the IVG to scan your surroundings. Okay. I can press the R button to IVG up. This is the IVG right here. The citizens are Yay! Well, you'll see. Please. Before it's too late. I hate how in horror games they're always like, well, uh, you'll see. Like, why can't you just be like, they're fucking zombies! Ah! You know, like, why can't you give me a heads up? So welcome to Pamela. I never understand, like, narrative writing like that bothers me where they're like, uh, you'll see. Like, you can't explain it. Be like, they're zombies. Just be honest with me. Be like, yes, the citizenry is currently turned into zombies. There's a Supra Hypo right here. I don't have a Supra, but maybe if I get one someday. Uh, we can loot things, so there's an apple in the trash. Mmm, delicious trash apple. Welcome to my inventory. Uh, we do have to look after our stats and, like, all of our, like, random, like, hunger and thirst and stuff like that. Uh, I think that's listed. Ooh, an adrenaline hypo. Sure, just in case I overdose on cocaine or something. That'll be helpful. Uh, the other thing that the IVG does is this thing right here actually allows us to melt items and get their parts. So you can see down there in the bottom left, we've got carbon and silica and all that good stuff. Like, I could melt the TV over here. Pretty much everything in the game can be salvaged. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it because that's not the point right now. We're not even at that point in the game yet. Uh, this thing over here, I think we can do something with it. We can, like, salvage it or something. If we want to. Maybe I need like a salvage unit or something like that. I can also throw hands. So just in case you were worried we won't be able to defend ourselves, I totally can. Uh, we can melt down this thing over here, which is like some kind of strange plastic version of the iron lung. There's nothing on this desk over here. There's nothing sitting around on this side. I guess we'll get trucking. Let's get moving. We're going to try and loot whatever we can. Ooh, a lemon. Sure, just so I don't get scurvy. What is this? Oh, it's a container? What is this thing? An augment remover. An access card authorizing the owner to remove one of their surgically implanted augments. Oh. Okay. Just rip it on out the side of my dome, huh? Just pull it out the side of my temple. That's cool. You ever wonder why they call it your temple? Like, I don't know. I don't feel like it's very worshipful in there. I guess it depends on your self-confidence levels, though. There's a med kit over here with a medical hypo. Heals fast with a searing heat. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'll grab it, but that doesn't sound like the most attractive way to heal myself. And we got another cryo bay over here that requires a cryo core. Okay, I don't have a cryo core, so I'm not even going to mess with that. Let's keep moving. Doing lots of things. Pushing buttons on the wall. I like that right there, though. That Deus Ex, like, that Deus Ex version of, like, you can actually, like, poke things and click things. You don't actually just press E and it happens. It puts, like, a little arrow on screen. And then you've got to manipulate that. I don't know why, but I like that. What is that? Kale. This bitter superfood has a plethora of important vitamins. Yeah, okay. Add that into the stack next to the chard. <laughs> Along with all the other things I don't eat in life if I can help it. What is this? We've got, ooh, tricarbine legs. And then what is that? A subversor. Ooh, I'll take both. Yes, give me those. If I press I, I'll go into my inventory. And so I've got leggies right there. Hell yeah, put the leggies on. Uh, we've got the subversor, which we can put on our right arm. So we've got right now, so that you know, we've got our visor, we've got our gadget, we've got our light supplement, we've got our shields, we've got our head, our torso, our legs. Uh, these allow us to change the colors of our armor in case we're playing multiplayer or something, I think. This side, we've got uh, what's on our left hand, what's on our right hand, our utility items, and then some other stuff that I haven't really gotten around to playing around with just yet. 
Uh, the primary attack is a dart, I guess. So we've got like a dart shooter on that thing we just equipped on our arm. If we wanted to use it, we could put that away and then we just hold down right click. And it looks like we've got poison darts that are inside of our arm now. Dude, that's so awesome. Haven't you ever wanted to shoot poison darts out of a part of your body? Like, I personally would opt for farting them. Just be like, get them! And they're like, oh, I feel so sleepy right now. Like, stick into their neck. Use your butt like a blow tube. I don't know. It's already it's already wired for that function. You know what I mean? Like, gotta do what you gotta do. This thing has nothing inside of it, so we'll leave it. Uh, there's coffee right there, a little kofifi. If we want to, we can hold down R and it'll scan, and anything that's interactable will actually light up. So that if you're having trouble finding the objects that are useful, uh, it helps you out a little bit there. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, it won't tell you what items are salvageable. I'm gonna salvage this TV very quickly because we need things. Because we are definitely going to be, like, doing some stuff pretty soon. We've got silica, iron, and aluminum. Okay. This is a base building game, actually. You wouldn't be able to tell it from the intro of the game, but you actually... Oh, what's up, dead guy? Oh, my God. What's poking out of your head? Jesus. Careful, man. you got to stop running in the hallways. See, your mom knows that she told you not to run with scissors pointed up. Apparently, uh, running with bone shards pointing up produces the exact same result. Thanks, Mom. All you needed to do was tell me a little bit better, and I would have known. But no, you gotta let me figure it out for myself, I guess. You gotta let me figure it out for myself. Like, everything here is salvageable, but since we're not at the point in the game where we're gonna be, like, building stuff, I'm just not gonna bother. Instead, I'm just gonna... Oh, my God, that creeped me out. I was like, what is going on right now? There are, like, critters and shit everywhere. Uh, we've got... What is this right here? That is $28. I'll take it. Apparently, the money is called Lux in this game. A ham sandwich. I'll take that as well. I'm not a big fan of ham. Ham cold cuts are okay, I guess. What is that, liquor? It's probably liquor. I do wish that it popped up and told you the stuff that you looted when it wasn't inside of a crate or anything. It would make your life a tad easier as far as that is concerned. But I think we've gotten everything from here. I'm going to scan one more time just to make sure that I didn't miss anything in here. It looks like I did. No, I already looted through that. Never mind. We're solid. I've looted all the things. My survival game credibility is not called into question. This needs a cryo storage, I guess, thing. What is this over here? Alert! Widespread contamination. Uh, medical Bio Cetra are currently investigating the scope of a contamination. I've asked anybody with the symptoms, chronic migraines, fatigue, stiffness, or soreness of joints, and abnormal growths. Remain calm. Any and all illnesses will quickly be resolved. I think the abnormal growths are the part there that I would worry about the most. Like, you know, migraines suck. Don't get me wrong. Migraines are the worst. What is that? Bubbly soda? Why is it in like a... Apparently, bubbly soda comes in beakers in this world. We've also got nothing inside of there, so it looks like the loot is somewhat randomly generated. My last playthrough had loot in there. It looks like we've got a thing that we can buy here if we really want to. Although, I don't know exactly what I'm buying because I don't know the symbols, so... Eh, I guess we'll ignore it for right now. Can I get into that little area right there? Or is that just kind of blocked off from me by the magical mysteries of plastic? It looks like the magical mysteries of plastic hypothesis is the one that's going to bear fruit there. So you know what? Bear fruits, dude, that's terrifying. Fruits that turn into bears are just like... Rawr! And come after you and take your ass out? No, thank you. We've got a lime on the table right there. If we can find a coconut, we should have no problem drinking it all up. Uh, we can salvage that off the floor, but I'm not going to bother for right now. Another weird suspended dead lady. Good God. Uh, their pillow-to-sitting area ratio in this place is really kind of messed up. That is $32. I will take it. What do we have over here? There's also $13 over here. Sure, I love free money. Free money is almost always too good to be true. There's nothing inside of there, so I guess I won't mess with it anymore. What is that made out of? Chromium and tin. That's good because chromium is actually kind of hard to come by in this game. So I'll grab some chromium real fast. Can I cro can I melt the lamp? Do you need directions? Um, no. I'm feeling pretty there solid. No need to hurry. What is this? Augment key, shatterproof. A certificate if authorizing the holder to purchase a specific augment from a Genesis life. station. Okay. Uh, creepy if you robot need lady. Anything, please let me know. I do have questions for you. Um, if I need is something from you, a gun. I mean, honestly, there's dead bodies and stuff everywhere. I really feel like. You could tell me what's happening, and that would help me out. Uh, somebody threw away good money. Who puts money in a trash can, dude? It's money. You're, like, on a whole different level of obsessively rich than me. If you can afford to just throw your money in the trash, I'll tell you that much. You could argue metaphorically that a lot of people throw their money in the trash, but I don't know. 
another door over here. We'll check that out too. I don't see any ham sandwiches or anything. And that's really what I was back here for. I was pretty excited about ham sandwiches. You ever had a deviled ham sandwich before? Bro, if you've never had a deviled ham sandwich before, you really need to bring your game up to the next level. They are delicious. So there's a med kit over here. Uh, nothing inside of it, though, so somebody else has already made use of it. That robot appears to have had the worst day ever. A muffin. Muffins are happy. I can be... Yeah, muffins sound great. Ooh, there's money in this one. Yes, I will take $34. Sounds great. 34 lux. Can I, like, I don't if know, salvage the robot? I mean, I feel like when Is culture and society have basically just fallen apart, that I should be able to just salvage the robots. I mean, how much use are they going to be anyways? People in the audience right now shaking their head like, yeah, that's how you get a robot rebellion, bro. That's how you get a robot rebellion. So, ooh, there's a bathroom over here. What's up, bathroom? Somebody tell me, is there anything good in here? Nope, nothing inside of that one. Uh, there's a med kit over here, though. Nothing inside the med kit, so apparently somebody already made use of that. Uh, there are condom dispensers in here. A squid biscuit. Why are there food vendors in the bathroom? That seems just directly unsanitary. Like, I am never going to eat a biscuit that I bought in the banyo, dude. That's messed up. That's like, I'm not down with that particular... Mm -mm. I'm not down with that particular... What is this? Candied lemon. All right, I'll take it because I might get hungry someday. And hey, toilet food's better than no food. But mark my words, I don't think you're going to make a lot of sales from those vending machines. I think that that business plan has a few... A few obvious flaws. Now let's jump on out of here. I think we've done perfectly fine back in this area. Basically do one last sweep for anything that might be useful. So there's liquor right there. We've got like a thing over here and it's got a another piece of kale in there just in case I want to ingest raw plant stuffs. Over on this side there's nothing on the couches or whatever. Just kind of looking around for whatever we might find. That is an adrenaline hypo so I'll take that. Sounds good. What happens if I melt that? Do I just get glass? Oh, I get chromium? Dude, I always need chromium, so I will take that. I got another playthrough, too. And I'm like, dude, I always need chromium. Like, I'm always out of chromium. It never fails. I always need chromium. I swept the entire area, and it doesn't look like there's anything else over. What is this? A new wing was added to ARC Medical. The permits state it is to further research the decaying genetic material found in residents. Wait, why is our genetic material decaying? Isn't that something we should be slightly concerned about? Uh, use whatever that is. I think it was probably water or something. I spent a minute, like, salvaging and stuff, too, just so I had a few parts for when we get started. Put my gun away because I don't think I'm going to be salvaging anything anytime soon. What is that right there? An aluminum cable? Okay. My inventory space is apparently full, so I suppose we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Free bell pepper, though. Uh, normally those cost like 86 cents. I don't see anything on any... What is this? Arc Medical Cryo Storage Key. Oh, okay, cool. That's the key to that room that's all the way back the other way, but my inventory is full, so I don't really think there's any point in... I don't think there's a point in going over there until we come up with some kind of storage solution and start building our bases or whatever. Uh, there's nothing inside that garbage can. A free pair, though. Yep. Uh, one little thing about the early access that annoys me. Every time you loot an item, it brings your, it brings your salvage tool back out. I don't like that. Uh, I know the salvage tool is shooting the thing, and then it's going into my inventory, but I just I don't like that. Like, I want the gun put away while I'm walking around, and when I tell it to be put away, it makes me sad when it pops back out all the time. Uh, over here, we've got a ammo case. Is there anything in there? No, there are no ammo cases in there. What the hell is that thing right there? Like a recycler? Ooh, money. Sure, I like money. Um... For the most part, looks clear. I haven't seen anything that's tried to murder us so far, so that's probably a good sign. Uh, what does a recycler do? Does it just break things down to their constituent parts? Oh, it just it pays you money for the things that you have. Okay. Well, anything that's not looking immediately useful, like medical supplies and whatnot, I'm going to get rid of. Um, I mean, like the liquor. Like, why do I need that? I Food and everything else has, like, a, a discernible function, you know what I mean? I'll recycle that, and I'll just get my, my 80 bucks. We're almost up to $400 right now. Damn, we'll be paying rent pretty soon. What's inside this little crate? Anything? Nope. It was not a great crate, mate. It was actually a crate that I would slate for... I don't know. It was a crate that I would slate to be detonate. Ed. There we go. 
That finished it off. See, you guys knew that I would get there at the end. You guys knew that I would make it. You just gotta have faith. You gotta have faith that Splattercat will pull through. Uh, is there anything going on over here? Nope. Maybe... Ooh, ammo container. Still nothing inside of it, though, which is a tad depressing. I was hoping... Oh, shit, son. Zombie! Uh, back up off me, zombie. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Do headshots matter? I don't know if... Ow, he kicked me, fool. This zombie knows karate. This situation just got markedly worse. I am now bleeding. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think I can loot this dude. He's walking around with a pocket full of carrots. So how do I tell, like, where is my status menu here? That's the big part that I need to know. Like, where is my status where I see, like, my meters and everything else? Like, how much health I have, how much blood I have, like, all that kind of stuff. I feel like that's something I should track down now that the game says that I'm bleeding. So upon review, there are keys. So if I press the U key, apparently that takes me to a status menu like so that's on my arm. And so it looks like we're okay. I've got bleeding, which is probably not good. I'm more than likely going to perish from that. It looks like actually U is the main menu. If I use my inventory, uh, what if I use a medical hypo? You are no longer bleeding. Fantastic. Vitals are no longer critical. Yeah, I was trying. That dude jump kicked me so hard, dude. He killed me with one jump kick. Like, what is that? That's pretty hardcore, bro. That's the kick of ages right there. If I'd known I was going to get kicked by Tony Ja, I would have been a little bit more careful. Insufficient inventory space for a medical hypo. Well, that is not acceptable. Did I get the hypo? Is it in here? I did. I think I got the hypo. I think it's in here. So I've got a bunch of these medi hypos. I've got adrenaline ones. I've got super ones. Jack of all trades with no loss in quality. Okay, so I've got a couple things that I can utilize if I get myself into trouble. But this way looks sort of blocked off. We also have a garrison box right here that's locked. I don't know how we get in there, but Garrison in this game creates firearms. It's a firearm company. And so chances are that there's something pretty rad there. Maybe like a rifle or something like that. I don't think I can go that way, so we're going to have to figure out where we've been blocked off from. I'm going to head back this way, and we'll give it a good look. Ah, here it is. I doubled back to where I was, and it looks like there was a gate right here that I walked straight past. I had actually assumed that that was an artificial boundary that the game had just put there, and in fact, it was interactable. Uh, this area does not look safe at all. This area looks like the area you wander through, like, midway through a zombie movie when they're, like, trying to finally get some supplies. Like, they've regrouped and they're together and everything, but the world's kind of messed up at this point. Uh, put that away just in case I need to fight. What is that, Pepto-Bismol? Ooh, juice. I will drink you, juice. Uh, yeah, just drink that right now to get my status back up. Press the, uh, not the I button, the U button to bring that in. And my status looks pretty good. Thirst is alright. Hunger could be a little bit better, but I think we'll be okay. Um, I do think they need to unify all the menus in, like, one... Like, I get what they're trying to do with the arm gauntlet thing and everything, but just for me personally as a player, I would rather just hit the tab key... Oh. Well, there you go. It's also bound to the tab key. In the key bindings, it said you. <laughs> oh, God. Looking like an idiot on the internet is so awesome. I love looking like a, like a like just a ridiculous dunce on the internet every single day. Believe me. Um, it's, it's inspiring. It feels great looking like an idiot all day every day. Good Lord. <sighs> well, what is there to talk about now? Uh, my muffin collection? What Originally is this? Originally, Jacob would converse with me every day, even insisting on being called my creator. I only understood the concept years later. Okay, so you're like an AI. That's fine by me. I mean, couldn't I just get an earpiece, though, and you could just feed me this info as time goes along? This area didn't look like it had anything going on, so... I don't really know what to do. We've got adhesive polyurethane. Uh, let me go through, and I'm going to eat some food so that I can carry some of this stuff around with me. Uh, you can eat food by middle-clicking, by the way, in case you're wondering about that. I will eat, I don't know, some of my food. Hopefully that wasn't like a, a vast over-utilization of my... It probably was, but oh well. What are you going to do sometimes? Yeah, take the polyurethane with you, because I've seen that on recipe lists before, and it's actually kind of hard to find. All right. 
put that away because I can virtually guarantee you somebody's going to try and take us out here. I don't even know where we are. Like, obviously, we're, like, in the space age future, but... Is there cash in the register? No, somebody already cleaned it out. Is that a safe? Yeah, it's a locked safe. I'm assuming at some point I get the ability to maybe hack or open locks. I'm not sure. I think there is a hacking mini game with like a spinny do thing. But as far as lock picking goes, I haven't gotten that far into the game yet to where I figure out how to get locks open. I'm guessing it's probably part of the crafting system. There's some kind of kiosk over here at the end of this little promenade area, promenade. It's a power station and a breaker. Power stations are located within each district. You gotta use the request power from Central Reserve. All right, power breakers can be found in each district. Allow the power to be toggled to three states that give different emergency power. Many objects require power to be used, such as store kiosks. Okay, that makes sense. I think I can make that happen, Captain. So can I say what kind of normal power I wanna put on? So it's on emergency right now. So we've put everything on full power, but how long is that gonna last? I'm concerned about the battery power for, oh, there it is right there. So we've got about 50 minutes if we put it on full power. I like the additional lighting, so I'm going to keep it. I don't know why my face is still all spattered with blood, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, there is a med hypo in here. Unfortunately, I can't take it with me. My inventory is so small at the moment. Oh, look, there's more robots over here. So the robots appear to be the ones that really kind of dodge this whole thing. Uh, medical autopsy report. Patient was presented at clinic with multiple bone fractures after falling down a flight of stairs outside of Origin Station. Two fractures were present at the right tibia, a fracture in the femur, small hairline. It healed immediately. Hairline fracture was deemed inconsequential. Fully recovered use of legs and set to be released in the morning. Uh, throughout the night, there was fitful sleep, followed by alternating periods of screaming and unconsciousness. Sedatives were added, but he died. Oh, man, he died shortly thereafter. Okay. A little bit more cash over here. I'll take that for sure. Throw that into the inventory just in case. I hope that none of these are... Oh, that one's alive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yep, I'm not getting hit today. You're dreaming if you think you're going to hit me. Yep. Oh, there's two of them. That's not good. All right, break out the gauntlet. Break out the... Yeah, take that. I don't know if that actually did anything, but uh, y'all better back up off me. Oh, got him with the jump punch. You see that right there? That was what was up. Ow, I got domed. Oh. I gotta keep him back. Gotta keep him back. There we go. Just walk backwards and swing. You gotta fall back sometimes. It is what it is. Why do you? Why are you so angry with me? Like, why do you want me to die? I don't want to die. I want to be friends. I just want to hang out. I like your outfit. Did you? Where'd you get that? American Eagle. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, keep swinging. I ain't gonna back down. I'll throw these things if I. Oh, okay. You wanna swole up, huh? She's feeling herself right now. This girl's got to go. I pray you back up off me. Let's do this thing. I shot her with a tranquilizer. and It didn't seem to work. No. Yep. There it is. Oh, we're starting this thing off with some battery. Here we go. Is she going down? Like, Jesus. This girl needs to go. I'm kind of beat up right now. There we go. Finally stuck her. She's done. Apparently killing zombies with, what is that right there, fab. A rapid programming 3D printer capable of making components for more advanced, oh. And then what is this, an IVG storage upgrade. Automatic magnetization module that somewhat amplifies the compressed storage capacity, ooh. Yes, I want you. You are absolutely what I want. And if I have you, can I pick you up now? No, I probably have to install that then. Where's that IVG module? It's right there. Where does it go? Oh, it gives you like one pip. Good sweet Lord Jesus, that's gonna take forever to fill out. All right, that's cool, whatever. I've no complaints from me. Uh, I'm not gonna pick those up for the moment, a ham sandwich that I found on a dead guy. I am, however, going to use this med hypo because we are a little messed up right now. Uh, let me look at my health real quick just to make sure. So, yeah, we got beat up pretty badly by that critter. I am regenning, though, which is good. So, at least we're out of, like, the real danger zone. Danger zone! Of everything that we got going on. That fab module over here really kind of seems like the sort of thing that I would want. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to play Tetris for a second, and we'll bring that over to here. Do I put that... Do I equip that somewhere? Like, how does that work? Oh, you actually, like, build it. Okay. 
All right, I can live with that. I don't know where I want to put this, but I'm going to cancel it for right now. Uh, you can switch to building mode with your tool, by the way, uh, in case you were wondering. I do need... That's going to have some things that I want inside of it. There we go. It's got chromium. Lots and lots of chromium and a little bit of rin tin 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 tin. Uh, if I could do... I can't really fit this anywhere, unfortunately. I'm going to eat the carrot. I wish I could rotate some stuff. Can I? Oh, I can. There we go. I can rotate it with uh, one of my keyses. Unfortunately, that's still not even going to help that much. We just have too much shit on us. But this med hypo is like crazy useful. So I'm going to drink some coffee, eat a kale, and then I'll throw that in there. I actually wanted to use that. Oh, well. We'll leave that in there for right now. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're pretty good on food and everything else at the moment anyways. This game seems pretty complicated. My first impressions of the whole thing are actually fairly positive. I'm happy with it so far, but it seems like one of those games that you really got to sink like two, three hours into before you really start to get to the meat and potatoes of it, which is kind of the wild part. I do sort of want to build... Oh, that's a robot. Okay, I thought that was another Zed over there. All right. There's really no point in me looting stuff so long as we're not finding... What is that? An IVG storage upgrade. Dude, I want that so bad. Yeah, use that right now. Did that... Uh, it just gave me two more down here? Hell yeah. Okay, uh, that's a zombie right there. Can I shoot it? I can't shoot it. Like, what if I take this thing and I get his ass, like, right in the dome? I don't think it's working. Oh, it did, actually. It killed him off, so apparently it stacks. It just takes a number of hits before he goes down. We have, what is that, tasty paste? I, I just want to eat it, in all honesty. I don't even care. I just want to eat it right now. Tasty paste. Good lord. Marketing going wrong. Uh, leave that body right there. In fact, I'm thinking that it's a good idea. Let's open up our crafting menu real quick and see if we can make a storage box so that we can centralize all the stuff that's in here. So we've got blueprints. We've got a transmitter, an ion core, a shield pylon, beacons. We've got a fab right there. We've got solder and, like, a number of other little things in here, but none of it actually looks like... You're supposed to have a base. All of it looks like kind of... We got like turrets and stuff over here. We've got labs. Okay. Uh, let's build a fab. I mean, we've got the free fab, so we might as well build it over here somewhere. We'll put one in... The, it's going to be out in the central like vestibule out here. I think that's the best place to put it. So we'll put it like out here next to this front desk. And then this will be our fallback point over here for when we want to do things. So I need to break out this thing. And then we wanted to go into our build mode. And for the fab, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll put that right there. So there it is. We have ourselves a fab now, apparently. It has no battery power, though. So how do I fix that, I wonder? It just looks like a water cooler to me. Doesn't look like anything too important. Uh, with the fab, if I wanted to put a new battery so I can activate it, I can link, I can move it, and I can retrieve it. Okay. So if I can make, like, a battery or something to make this function, I think that's going to be the next thing that we really want to do. This right here is a vendor. It looks like it's got a number of items inside of it. I don't know what any of them are, so I'm not going to buy any of them. I'll figure it out later. Uh, that's still empty. These ammo cases, man, really kind of denying me right now, making my life kind of difficult. Hopefully we get some kind of, like, fusion rifle or something later on so that we can fight the bad guys. Some kind of pistol or gun or rifle or something so that at least we have, like, the bare minimum means to defend ourselves. That's closed, so I don't think we're going in there. Nothing inside the medical case. That's okay. I'm not upset about it. Let's jump into the crafting menu and figure out how we make a battery. So it looks like we've got a power transmitter here. We can make it if we have polypropylene, stainless steel, aluminosilicate glass, and integrated circuit gen 1. So let's get the polypropylene because I think I can make that. There's polypropylene. We need three of those. So I'm going to go ahead and build three of those. There it is. Go back to fabrication. We needed the... Alu aluminosilicate glass. I don't remember if we needed two of those or how much of that we needed for the power transmitter. We also needed stainless steel and an integrated circuit. Okay, so stainless steel is right here, and that looks simple enough. Apparently, we've got insufficient inventory space, though, for those ingots. So, that puts us in a rough situation of me, like, kind of pack ratting stuff. I'm going to throw this... I'm going to keep this med kit over here, since apparently I'm creating some kind of rest stop for myself on this side. I'm just going to use this med kit and store everything inside of it. 
uh, we'll put in pretty much everything that we're not using right now. And anytime we need like a snack time or anything else, we'll swing back over to this side. And that's how we'll get our vittles back up so that we feel a tad better. But up until then, we're going to be carrying around a lot of crafting materials and stuff like that. And so my thought is that I should really kind of condense some of this stuff and kind of get it moving. I wanted to get something built in this episode before we cut it off. And so that's the big thing that I'm looking for right now. Grab you guys off the ground right there. And then what were some of the final things that I needed? I needed a circuit gen one. So an integrated circuit gen one, it's gonna take silica and aluminum. I can get that. Cool, so I've got the stuff that I needed in order to do it. We'll go ahead and latent blueprints available. We need a lab, a fab, and a bench. Okay, apparently everything in this game is punctuated. So we've got the stuff that we need. That means that this right here, the power transmitter should be usable. We'll take that, we'll build it. Oh my god, it's right there. Insufficient inventory space. Can I pick it up and move it, or? So if I turn it on, my guess is that I can link this with something. Let's go ahead and move it. There we go, I like to move it, move it. All right, so we'll throw it over to this side. I'll probably kill the power in just a minute then to conserve it so that we've got more time. But we've got a power transmitter right there, and so we'll get that going. Power transmitter, is this working now? Oh, the power, shit. I don't think the power transmitter has power either, and it has no power either, so there's more stuff in the equation that we need to put together here in order to get this to work. So we actually need something like an ion core right here, and that's going to take quite a bit more. We'll do that in the next episode of Pamela. Thank you for stopping on in. Kind of a cool little stylized game. I like it, actually. I'm having fun with it. Once you get past the initial like learning curve and like how much they throw at you right at the beginning, pretty cool little title. I'll see you all next time. Hi to everybody. If you want to get Pamela for yourself, it's out right now on Early Access. You can, can get it down below in the description. Other than that, bye-bye, everybody.